Today, I will be attempting to build the largest alien containment in Subnautica. If you didn't know, alien containments are like giant aquariums, and if you build one on top of the other, they connect and become one big aquarium. So in order to build the tallest one, I'm going to have to go to the bottom of the void and start stacking these aquariums up from there. The idea is, is that I'm going to take a foundation and build it as far off as I can. If, if the ghost leviathans will permit me, I'll just make another one, just extending out into the void. I'm only pooping my pants a little bit. So now, what happens if I deconstruct the first foundation? Uh, you got some floating foundations. Now I just built this multi-purpose room right here. I can get a hatch in. Uh, get the hatch in. Get the hatchet! Get the hatchet! Oh my god! Oh my god. We got a little nuclear reactor. We now have power in the void. I can breathe in here now. Look at this. Oh, we are expanding. I was able to go up two whole levels. Wait, I can quickly get a multi-purpose room in here before the ghost leviathans start showing up. Two seconds later. This is not okay, guys. Ow. We can talk about this. You know what? We can't talk about this. Uh... Do I regret doing this right now? A little bit. Now this is actually awesome though. Like if I, I have my Seamoth Park right here and if I come here, the Ghost Leviathans just turn around. Oh, look at that. They all just turned around in unison. And uh, just for kicks, I also brought some glass so we can make uh, a couple of quick windows. Look who's coming to say hello. Aww. Oh, oh, oh shit, oh shit. No, get him, get him. He can't get me. Look how tall this is getting. This is not right. And it's just gonna keep going up. We gotta keep building up. This is how it works. Stay back. I am currently about to breach 100 meters with this tower. And by that, I don't mean it's 100 meters tall. This thing is well over 250 meters tall now. But what I mean is that I am about to be less than 100 meters from the surface. We hit a huge milestone just now. Look how close the surface is. You can actually see it. You can't even see the top of it anymore. It's out of render distance. Get me in the hatch. Ah, That was close. Oh, all right. Okay, no, fair enough. Oh my God, this is insane. It just keeps going. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment where our base will breach the surface of the oceans of Subnautica. This is the one, we've done it. They can't get us anymore. We made it to the surface. Oh, can he? No, wait. oh, I still feel like I'm in extreme danger. Okay, I, I was. So with the tower complete, that leaves just a couple of things left to do. I've got to get ladders connecting every single floor to each other and then go between every single floor and build alien containment. Let's get right into that. Look at this. I'm actually going down right now. This is this is me going down all these ladders. That, that is kind of terrifying. terrifying. Well, there we go. Now we just need to get to the alien containment, the main part of the video. Now I said at the beginning that I wanted to start at a depth of 500 meters and build up from there, but I ended up starting at 342 about. Because I decided to do all of this in survival mode, I had to spend the past few days gathering resources and preparing for my mission into the most dangerous depths of Subnautica. And since each alien containment would cost me a total of 10 quartz and two titanium, and each multi-purpose room costs me six titanium, I was looking at about 800 titanium and 1000 quartz for this whole project. Yeah, I don't have enough resources. I've, I had like 20 lockers full of titanium, if not more, and I've used them all. Let's get to building these uh, alien containments and not dying to ghost leviathans. Here we are, the very first alien containment. Here it is in all of its glory. Now we just go on top and we can see we could stand on this, but if you didn't already know and just decide to build another alien containment, the two will attach and become one large alien containment. So using this knowledge, we're just gonna make a tunnel of alien containments all the way to the top of our tower. <laughs> And this here is 10 alien containments. This looks so cool. I've just gotten the hatch built, which means now we can access the inside of our alien containment. And to think that that is just 10 alien containments. And this is what it looks like when you stack 20 alien containments on top of each other. All right, I will keep you updated with my progress. We are currently 48 alien containments tall. Number 50, 
a milestone many thought none would achieve. But here I stand on top of 50 alien containments that have merged together to become the craziest subnautica void tunnel you have ever seen. That's a lot of alien containments. As much as this milestone is nice, you know it's even greater than 50 alien containments, 100 of them. I would also like to emphasize the fact that I've done all of this in survival with no cheats. All of these materials I've gathered myself. Ever wondered what 75 alien containments stacked on top of one another looks like well this is it it's time to have 100 alien containments stacked on top of each other and i searched it up and i didn't see any records on alien containment stacking so i think i'm just gonna claim that i have the world record and if somebody actually does have it that's not me then uh come forward. Honestly, I think we probably have more than a uh, hundred. I don't know, maybe not. It's gonna be really close. I might have exactly 100 multi-purpose rooms here. Did I say multi-purpose weird there? That's the topmost one. Yes, I have exactly 100 multi-purpose rooms. I actually can't believe it. I wasn't even counting while I was building them, but it's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. I have to build the 10 final alien containments and then finish off this video by swimming from the bottom of this tower to the top with just alien containments. That is the grand finale. Relax, guys, relax. We're all friends here. We're all friends here. That's right. And with this final alien containment marks the end of our journey. That is 100 alien containments. I'll put like a timer up or something. Let's just see how long it takes me to actually get up there. Hopefully I can do this in one breath. I hate to drown in here. And now we discovered earlier that the sea glide actually has no effect in the alien containment, so that's why I'm not using it. I feel like I'm traveling between dimensions. got about 90 seconds left of oxygen. Can I make it? I've only ha I have just over 100 meters to go. I think it's possible. I think it's more than possible in fact. I think we might make it there with time to spare. Oh my goodness. Here we are. We've made it. This is it. Is that a sight to see or what? But first, before we get anything in there, we just- Oh, oh god, it was a mistake. No, don't go out there. Hi everyone, I'm CPT Kung Fu. I make videos on video games. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking and or subscribing. I hope to see you all in the next one. Later!